Assalamu alaikum. So here we'll take a look how to listen to Firebase collections document changes. So here I have this simple query where I get all the data from Firebase. So here I have a document and we have a sub collection. So all we do over here, we get all the documents from our collections and sub collections and then we put in a new variable. And after that, our local list, we clear it. So we just uh, simply empty everything from this list over here. Now, as you can see, this messages variable, which contains all of our documents from our collections from this one, actually. Now, we want to listen to this collection, which is under this document. So here we have a document ID. So from this variable, actually, we can listen to snapshots object as well as then this listen object. Now after that, we save this whole object in a variable which is called listener. So this listener is a variable that we declared at the top. It's just a simple variable, listener. Now what happens here, since we are able to listen to this variable, which is messages, which contains all of our sub collections and documents. Now we listen to it. And as you listen to it, of course, here Firebase gives you an object, which is called event. But now you can call it anything. It doesn't really matter. And inside this, I have this uh, state, uh, some print statement. Now, what do we do? This object event, it contains an, another object, which is called doc changes. So this doc changes object actually contains everything in a list all the documents and their changes. So we go through a for loop actually, and then here each of the, each time we go through for loop, of course, we take each of the item in, in this variable, which is we call a change, you can call it anything. Now, this will have many types of changes or many types, I would say. Now you can listen to them or check those changes in a switch statement, that's what we have over here. Now inside the switch statement, switch statement, as you can see, we have a case statement. So each of the case, they have, each of the case, they check the certain type. Now document change type dot added. So it would just match if our, if we are adding a new document to our list in Firebase. So, well, now this type should match this type over here. It could be any of them. This one should match this one. So actually it depends what you do with your data. Now, so inside the switch statement, we have different cases. So you can just go ahead and write them. And based on that, you can listen to changes or any kind of a print statement or any kind of conditional check you can do right inside this different types of cases so hopefully it makes sense now what we'll do we'll we'll see that at the top over here we have this print statement so we're gonna print them and before we print them you have to know another thing that at the same time you can listen to any error now if you see over here So your error statement should be right after this listening the object. So here we are listening. And after that, over here, we'll listen to any kind of errors. So if we are uploading data or changing data, and if we have error, we can listen to that as well. Now here is our app and what we'll do, we're gonna send messages from here and then we'll see that we are able to print our data that means that actually we are listening to the changes in our documents so let's go ahead and do that hi there how are you so let's change hit hit, hit this enter button over here and now here we do see that documents a snapshot added with ID and over here for example the first one current data actually it refers to all the documents that 
we have gotten from here through this event object. So these are all the documents that we have printed. And as I said, that they are like in a list. And as well as there are many other properties that you can listen to and take your actions. Like for example, hey, over here, we are listening to a Boolean, which is called has pending rights, which returns a true, which means that we are actually writing as we are listening we are able to write the data in the back end so yeah so your collection should be in a variable and to that collection you can listen to snapshots and then listen object and inside the listen object you will listen to an event and you'll check your event inside a for loop using this switch statements and you might use this cases so that's the core of this tutorial okay so if you like to if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and check out the other tutorials about Firebase from the link below. Thank you.